Hey guys, Mighty here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to download VODs, clips, and chat from Twitch. So with that said, let's get right into it. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is open up your browser. You can either use Bing or Google. It doesn't really matter. But we can use Google in this instance. We'll go to google.com and we will type in Twitch Downloader. And then we can even add in GitHub here to the end. So we could do Twitch Downloader or Twitch Downloader GitHub, either or. In this case, we have a link here to Lay295 Twitch Downloader, which is a Twitch VOD slash clip downloader. So we'll go ahead and we will click on that. And uh, we'll close out of this. Okay, so as you can see, this is the GitHub page for the Twitch Downloader. It's a Twitch VOD clip chat downloader. This is basically what a lot of the really large content creators use uh, when they're downloading chat and they're downloading their clips and their VODs uh, from Twitch. So in this case, uh, you, sometimes when you see clips on YouTube, uh, they have the chat in there as well. You know, they use some video editing software, and as you can see, uh, this piece of software does exactly that. It just downloads the chat alongside the clip, and um, it shows it like so. Sometimes people add a little bit of transparency to this too, and you can easily do that uh, in the video editing software of your choice. So, again, this is a really nice tool, and it downloads VODs, clips, uh, it downloads the chat for VODs and clips in a JSON format. Uh, you can also specify an HTML file or a plain text file. It's really up to you. Um, but again, a really nice piece of software. Here's the GUI or the graphical user interface. Kind of showing you some of the options here, uh, you know, and then you can read in through here and see what else is, um, what else this application can do. And uh, let's go ahead and download this. So we'll go to releases here on the far right hand side where it says releases. And as you can see, 1.53.2 is the latest release. Uh, if you're watching this video in the future, I'm sure this version could be updated to a more newer version. So who knows, right? Um, but yeah, at the time of this video, this is 1.53.2. Down here, we'll look to download the GUI for Windows. As you can see, Twitch Downloader GUI 1.53.2, Windows 64.zip. So that's what we're gonna click on. We're gonna download that. And in the top right hand corner, we have that downloaded into our downloads folder. Uh, this is in a zip format, so we will right click this. We will go extract all, and then we will click extract. We'll just extract this to the, uh, to the same downloads folder here. And there we go. So it basically opens up that folder. So again, you have that zip file, and then you have the base folder that it, that it extracted to. So, uh, make sure you guys remember where this is stored. Um, you can save this into a documents folder. You can rename this folder if you want. Um, just make sure everything's in this folder. And uh, what we're going to use uh, to start up this GUI is we're going to click on Twitch Downloader WPF. Now, I believe Windows is going to throw some weird false positive. Uh, yeah, for this Windows protected your PC. But this is totally fine. This application is, is used by many. So this is not a big deal. This is a false positive that pops up on Windows. We'll click run anyway. And uh, now as you can see, the application loads up. We have options for VOD download, clip download, chat download, chat updater, chat render. So this is for rendering the chat uh, to a video file. And then we got the task queue, which is basically a queue of tasks for downloading a bunch of VODs and clips all at once. So. Let's go ahead and do a VOD download. So we can go ahead and go to Twitch here. And let's say we go to twitch.tv, uh, you know, go to a you know, really big streamer that everybody knows about, right? XQC, right? XQC has a lot of clips on his YouTube of the chat, of his videos, of his VODs. And the way they do that is by using this piece of software. So we'll go to the videos tab. Again, we're just looking for past broadcasts. We go to videos, past broadcasts. Uh, and let's just say this two hour and 41 minute uh, VOD from 17 hours ago, right? You want to download that. We'll go to that VOD. We will go up to the very top. We will right click, copy this link, or you'll do control C on the keyboard. So either right click, copy or control C there. And then you'll go to the application, Twitch downloader, go to VOD download, and then control V or right click and paste and uh, click get info. And as you can see, it loads up streamer XQC, when the VOD was created, what the title was, the length of the VOD, so two hours, 41 minutes and six seconds, which is just exactly here. So the quality 1080p at 60 frames would be a 9.5 gig file. I uh, can always download the quality if you want. 
But again, really nice application for, uh, you know, for downloading VODs. You can even specify a start and an end time for this VOD. So if you only want to download, let's say the last, you know, 10 minutes of the VOD, you could say two, uh, you know, two hours, uh, 31 minutes and six seconds. And that would be precisely 10 minutes of the last 10 minutes of the VOD. And it'll update the, uh, the size of the file. Download threads, leave it at default for um, a WATH optional. I'm not too sure. It says it's only required for sub only VODs. All third party auth tokens will not work. Okay, so this is something you guys can look into. Again, <clears throat> I don't really use this option, but I'm sure it could be useful um, if a VOD isn't sub only. So yeah, I'm assuming it would probably take your OAuth token and allow you to download this VOD if it was sub only. So yep, so we could do that. We can click download or we could enqueue the download. We just click download here, specify a location to save it in. This is a really long title. We'll just say XQC VOD. You could say save. And then as you can see, the little guy jumps back and forth. It says it's downloading um, pretty fast for a download. And um, we can have that, we can have that VOD basically saved, you know, straight to our downloads folder. So again, it's a really nice application for, for downloading VODs. And if you guys want to download clips, we can also uh, go through how to download clips. So we'll go to XQC stream again, click on his profile, go to videos, and we will click on clips. We will disable this featured clips only because I don't know why Twitch added that. Top 24 hours, uh, XQC gets knife CS2. We click on that clip. But a 26 second clip, we'll go up to the very top here. We will control C or right click and copy like so. And then we go back to the Twitch downloader. We go to clip download. We can right click paste or control V to paste it in. Click get info. As you can see, the same clip shows up 26 seconds. You can specify quality for it. Encode metadata is fine. Uh, just leave that checked. And then again, just click download, specify a location for it. Click save. And it downloads the clip just like that. So we can go to our downloads folder and we can double check to make sure that that works. So XQC VOD, we can click on the media player here. And here, a little prediction. Four and million. as you can see, it downloaded the last 10 minutes. Chat, click on chat, click on chat. So yeah, it downloaded the last 10 minutes of that VOD. We can also check out the clip. And as you can see, the clip plays just fine. Oh my God! The <laughs> police. So, yeah. So this this application is really nice, but it's even crazier. Is uh, you can download the chat as well. So there's an option here called chat download. So what's a great example of downloading the chat could be this uh, could be this clip of him getting the the CS:GO knife or whatever. So we can uh, we can download the chat. So same thing. Just go up to the top, right click, copy, or Control C to copy uh, that clip. And you can do this for VODs too. It doesn't have to be clips. It can just be VODs. It can be either or. Uh, we'll just do it for this, uh, in this case, as a clip. We will control V or right click paste and get info. So here we are, 26 seconds, download format, JSON, compression, none. This is all fine. You don't need to crop anything. Um, yeah, that's about it. Just click download, specify a location. Uh, you know, it saves it as chat. So just perfect, click save. And just like that, it, downloaded the chat, I believe. So it downloaded the chat as a JSON file. Um, so that's the first thing you need to do is download the chat as a JSON file. But then the next thing you need to do is, uh, I believe it's rendering the chat. Let's see, a chat updater. I think this updates the chat with some missing emotes or something. Um, I haven't really used this before, but I have used the chat render. What we'll do is we'll specify <coughs> the chat file Go to browse and see we will specify this chat.json file here click open and then you can specify a width and a height for this file what kind of font you want the chat to be in how large the font is for the chat um then there's rendering so you can have an outline update rate how fast you want the chat to be updating so there's a lot of really nifty features in here uh to kind of you know customize how the chat shows up hey get out of here windows don't want to turn on a windows backup so here's encoding you can specify you know what kind of format you want it in the frame rate and um you don't touch ffmpeg so 
we will click render and again we'll specify the output into the downloads folder here and what it's going to do is going to fetch all the emote images uh in that chat through that json file and then after that it is going to render it out so i'm um, assuming if you downloaded the chat off of vod it would take a very long time so as you can see the render time for a 26 second clip was 12.6 seconds so let's go ahead and check that out so here's the chat video we'll click on that wow and there you go there's the chat in all its glory <laughs> so there you go so the software is you know has downloaded the chat and what you would basically do is if you were making a clip video on on youtube uh you would just take this chat you know put it somewhere on the screen maybe in the bottom right hand corner or somewhere you know on that screen and then turn down the opacity from 100 percent to like 50 percent to make this a little more opaque and uh you know not be right in somebody's face so again this is a really nice piece of software um you can do multiple downloads as well you can search vods and search clips so if we you know if you don't want to go to somebody's twitch directly first thing we'll do is we'll do search vods and uh, we can set a channel here so we could do xqc click set channel and there you go all of xqc's vods show up here in this uh in this little window and again that two hour 41 minute six second uh vod is here you could select multiple um vods if you wanted to you could do add to queue and then you could select to download the video and download the chat uh, if you want to specify a location for that be the downloads folder and then add it to the queue so as you can see here, it is downloading multiple VODs at the same time. Um, I think, again, I'm not too sure about the URL list. I'd have to look into that, but uh, we'll cancel these. It does show though you can download multiple VODs. And last thing we're gonna do is search clips. So same thing, go type in XQC at the top for set channel. This can be your channel, of course, obviously. And uh, as you can see here, we got a lot of clips that showed up. We can click add to queue. You download video downloads folders already been specified and uh yeah these clips downloaded really quick this is basically again just showing off this uh this twitch downloader program that um you know that downloads vods clips and chat off twitch uh i can give an honorable mention to uh to another piece of software i guess it's an extension really it's called twitch vod downloader and i made a youtube video on this uh, a little while back um let's see twitch vod downloader is also an extension in the uh in the chrome web store and this downloads uh this can download vods pretty well though it does split up the uh the videos but again i will give an honorable mention to this extension as it's really nice and really convenient go to twitch.tv slash xqc and i can show you guys what that looks like real quick and as you can see at the top, we can click for the menu. We can click find recent streams. It'll show up with a list of XQC streams. We can click on the most recent one. Okay, so I had to refresh the page, but I clicked on it again. It says searching a VOD server. And then as you can see, the VOD shows up. And what, and what you can do is you can go up here to the top where it says download VOD. And then you can specify you know, a segment to download from that VOD. So if you wanted the first like four minutes, you could go over here, you could drag in, you know, say the first four minutes, so zero to four minutes, click download VOD selection, and it would do precisely that. I guess it went from zero to three minutes and 50 seconds, but again, a nice little quick feature, a nice little tool, a little honorable mention that I think I would uh, put in this video as well. So again, it's called Twitch VOD Downloader. It's a Chrome extension. And as you can see, we click on the file and uh, would have downloaded the first three minutes and 50 seconds. Time's up, but it says a little already. Audio is a little delayed because I'm in a virtual machine, but uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that uh, helped you guys out on, on how to do all that. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.